Guys, this is a completely new setup. I might be echoing. I might not know what I'm really doing right now with this setup, but listen, listen to me. Let's get through this together. This is going to be a completely new thing for me. Uh, I'm in a new place. I've got a lot of different things I got to do still. I still got to get my acoustic foam up and all of that. But you know what, guys? I really just want to do a video right now on something that has been bugging me a lot when it comes to No Man's Sky. And that is the fact that a lot of people do think that this game is actually going to be overhyped to the point of where it's going to just let everybody down and it's going to demolish Hello Games' reputation. And I just don't think that's the case, and here's the reasons why. I do believe that there are a couple things that could happen that would have Hello Games and No Man's Sky actually tank. And I want to talk about these reasons in this video today, but I also want to talk about why I believe that this probably won't happen. So let's get right into the video, guys. I have a couple things that I have to talk about here. Now, when you think of No Man's Sky and you watch the videos, what are the two biggest things that stick out to you? Number one for me is exploration. It's an exploration game. And number two is mining and gathering resources to better assist you in your exploration. So mining and exploring are some of the top things that you do in this game, okay? Now, if the game actually does fail, I believe that these two things are going to be the factor that decides that, the exploration and the mining. So, when it comes to exploring, there is so much that you have to explore that it might be a little bit too much, to the point of where uh, my mild OCD might make me always want to be hunting for a better planet, and when I land on a planet and I find out that it's not as good as I thought it would be, it might be very disheartening, and it might be, you know, weeks and weeks of playing the game before I find something that's actually decent enough to actually spend a lot of time on, and really spend a lot of time finding out what that area is, a, is like. Because, of course, it's not all just a dash to the center, there's a lot of exploration and a lot of, um, finding really cool things that a lot of people want to do rather than getting to the center. And this might be the thing that makes people angry is the fact that they're not going to be able to find these super cool animals or the super amazing planet right off the bat. And, and when somebody actually does find that, they're going to be like, I want to find something better. I want to find something cooler because I know that it's out there because this universe is so massive. And that could be something that really hurts the game. The fact that people always want to be finding something better and it's always going to be disappointing to them. But I do think that Hello Games is finding something that is going to counteract this because they know what they're doing. They know that it's a procedurally generated humongous game. So they're going to keep people entertained on probably every single planet. There's not going to be any planets that are just flat with nothing. I don't believe that's going to happen. There's always going to be something interesting on every single planet making you want to explore a planet, even if it's super cold or super hot or super ugly, you know? Now let's talk about mining, and right off when I say mining, a lot of people are going to have their brains shoot straight over to Minecraft, and the collection and the resource gathering that that game brought was very successful. But after playing Minecraft for a while, people started teetering off of it. It was a super successful game. The concept was really great, but after a while, it gets boring constantly looking for things that are super hard to find or constantly looking for things that are. But this is where trading comes into play here because there's all of those trade ships that you can go to and you can trade goods that you find on a planet that you might not need for something that you do need. And that is something that is really great about this game that you really don't see in Minecraft that much. Yes, you can trade between players and you can trade with the town folk in Minecraft, but I think that these ships are something that you can get into and you can really have a smorgasbord of what you want rather than having to go between everybody and saying, hey, hey, you got any, you got any wheat? I, I need to trade this, uh, this egg for some wheat because I really need some wheat and everybody's like, no, I don't have any wheat. I have too many eggs, but it's different. The fact that these people aren't other players, they're all AI and they all know that people zooming through space need specific things that they might not have, so these are set up for you to trade to that. But mining gets boring after a while, collecting gets boring after a while, and that could be something that kind of tanks the game a little bit in the future. But I really do think that No Man's Sky is something that is going to pursue through that because, because I've said this in previous videos, the game cannot be overhyped. It's impossible for the game to be overhyped because overhype and uh, disappointment comes when a game company makes something and shows something and then they don't deliver what they showed. That is something that makes people disappointed and No Man's Sky has made something that 
they literally the trailers in this game are Sean Murray or some other guy sitting down and running around a planet and saying yeah that's a cool trailer let's post that as a trailer they're not BSing you they're not BSing you with graphics they're not BSing you with things you can do they're showing you everything that you can do in the game very dumbed down and that is why this game can't be overhyped or disappointing people because he's saying this is the game you collect things you explore get to the center that's it do make your own story so there's no way that that can be overhyped or disappointing because games like the division or games like Watch Dogs that they said these are the graphics and you can do all of this amazing stuff and it's just crazy and it's next gen and it's amazing and when it comes out four years later people are like this is nothing like you showed back when it actually first got announced so that is where disappointment is that's where overhyping comes in and the game isn't what everybody thinks but this game isn't like that so I hope you all like the video today I hope you all can mind the echo that's happening in here the new background everything but you know what guys we're gonna keep going at this Monday through Friday we are starting the stream now too so look for those guys I hope to see you in the streams it's really cool interacting with you I hope you all have an awesome day guys I will see you all later <laughs>